everybody, Michael Tiny Saul. Today is Wednesday, April 6, 2011 at 1013 at night. And this video is for the management of the stock watch list that we have created and managed for the week of April 4th, 2011. View my blog here. My YouTube channel is here. If you want to give it to anybody, that would be great. And feel free to contact me right here. Okay, FFIV is... The first stock on the list we talked about yesterday I had given this a half size designation and we wound up firing off and stopping out um, on Wednesday you can see the five minute chart we dipsy dude down got the entry it only went like 18 cents from the entry so that's not enough to move stops then we came up and and uh, stopped out if of course the spike doesn't happen we still might have had a chance but it was a half size trade Still sucks. Uh, still lost half a unit on that one. Rim, more than likely, stopped out here. Okay, unless you were using a looser stop, which makes no sense. We talked about half should have been booked on this push down somewhere and then stops to break even. So that is off the list. I have to remove that. And I know I do it while I am, uh, while I am on the video talking on the video but that's that way it allows me to it allows me to actually get it done and, and that's big with me I want to make sure it's the same thing when I do my trading log I want to make sure that I do what I'm supposed to do right away because what happens is you start making excuses why you shouldn't do it and oh you know the worst part ever and I'm going off on a little bit of a tangent here is that you have a trading log, and I hope everybody who's watching this video does have a trading log. If not, you should really have one. But uh, it, the worst is you lose on the trade, you, you get stopped out, or you lose your third trade in a row, and you're just like, Ugh, the last thing I want to do is write it down in the book. But that's the time when you have to. That's the, the most important time. And the second most important time is after you're on a real kick butt win streak four or five trades in a row and then you're like oh what do i need a log for anymore i'm doing great those are the times when you really have to get back to center and say write your trades down log your trades but anyway it's another story for another day and uh, another video okay vq was another stop out uh, vq fired off the entry was 1721 it only went as high as 1733 so that was a stop out and it looks like I think we were using about 40 cents on that. So that definitely stopped out uh, on the downside. So that's two down and two stop outs. And Rim was a an okay stop out because uh, uh, it was a stop out for a profit on at least part of it. All right, CPLA did not fire off. Still watching Tuesday's lows for a potential trigger. Okay, AMN never triggered. And we're going to take that one off the list it's too close to the 200 day it doesn't have a really nice pattern here so i am going to remove that one AutoZone did not go below wednesday's close i believe a uh, tuesday's close right let's see 27606 was the entry yeah i mean it's still in didn't uh, get stopped out of break even so unless you were taken out on a trail on uh, Tuesday still in this based on Wednesday's trade so watch that one okay Merck MERC Mercer International went a little bit higher but depending on where your trail is here you're either stopped out or you're still in it but stop should be break even here should not lose on this one okay UIS UIS had an update but still you know we're still using the stop above this high from last week 3171 would be the stop on the rest so Let's see if this thing can dump out of this one. We're already um, out half of this one. NCR. Yeah, NCR was a stop out, but for very small. The instructions were above Tuesday's highs by 1030 or else it's a time stop. And you can see here. Here we go. We pushed up above it early, but then we rolled on over. And, you know, here's the 1030 close bar. The 1030 bar close is a... Uh, 1894 so i'm using that as an exit so the entry was blah, 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 blah. where was the entry okay the entry was 1904 
So you're looking at a 10 cent stop out and the risk on this I believe was 30 or 40 cents. I'm not sure. I didn't I didn't look at the uh, old video. Uh, this was a 10 cent stop out. So I consider this like either a third of a unit or a quarter of a unit uh, loss because it stopped out for a third of what the original stop was or a quarter of what the original stop was, right? That's how you have to look at it. APC, I'm taking APC off the list. It did not trigger, okay? The high was still 84. It didn't quite get there, but uh, I'm not going to get caught in a whip out on this one. So I'm taking this one off of the list, and I'm also taking UDLR off of the list because this one... Uh, doesn't look too doesn't look ready yet so taking those off the list maybe we'll add them back on uh, next week all right so that leaves us with four stocks plus two new ones that I'm going to talk about right now first one is Essex property trust ESS and this one looks like it could be due for a retracement from the doji candle on Wednesday I'm using the low for the entry and a stop above the high. So 125.32 entry and a 126.36 or 37 stop. So you're looking at a little bit more than a dollar on this one. And remember, if it gaps down below the lows, done. All right. And since it's only since you're only risking a dollar, and once again, only is relative, right? It still has to do with your your share size. But since you're risking a dollar when it's Get, when it gets a yeah, when it gets a forty five cent gain, I'd be moving stops to break even. I wouldn't look to take profits to at least plus one. And I'm watching this ten day moving average as the ultimate target. But let's see what this high is here. So one twenty four oh seven, the entry. Yeah, yeah. So when it's up forty five fifty cents, that would be a place to move stops and then look at the half off plus whatever your risk is. And then, uh, obviously, stops would be already be a break-even, and then see if this can get a little extra down to the 10-day moving average. So that's ESS. And then ALXN, Alexian Pharmaceuticals, Dark Cloud Cover. So uh, this one is to be watched. Okay, nice fresh break to above 100 just last week, or actually, yeah, nipped it last week. No, no, just this week, actually, Monday. It closed above it. Uh, now it looks like a dark cloud cover. So entry is 101.79, and the stop is all the way above the high, which is 105. So you're looking about at a let's see, you're looking at a four dollar stop. But once again, doesn't matter. The price of the stop doesn't matter. What matters is the share size. So a unit is a unit is a unit, right? If you're risking 30 cents or you're risking four dollars, all you have to do is adjust the lot size. Or at least that's how I'm tracking these. You can do whatever you want with them because I don't I have no idea if or how you're trading these. Okay, so a couple of stops out, stop out, whoa, a couple of stop outs, and uh, we kept the losses small, which was good, except for that uh, VQ, which was definitely a full unit loss. But uh, good thing we had some winners to offset them over these last uh, week or so. So uh, let's see what these will do, and I will talk to everybody again on Thursday and if you're looking for general market commentary definitely check out the blog because I do a nightly spy video that I just post up there okay that's it I'll talk to everybody again Thursday have a great trading day